So I want you to take me back to the day of your injury, which I'm sure is a day you've given a lot of thought to over oh, yeah. the past few months. Can you take me back there and tell me exactly what happened? Uh, well, I mean, it was just it's just another regular game for me, uh, just another regular field goal, um, which obviously had uh, uh, detrimental results. Uh, you know, I kicked the ball like I normally would, and when I landed, as soon as my foot hit the ground, uh, the player on, the, on Calgary's team uh, came in and landed right on my leg, and you know, I felt my leg basically go in two different directions. And, and what did that feel like? Uh, well, I heard a pop, and it didn't feel nice, obviously. I mean, it hurt for the split second, it, it hurt a lot. And then after that, uh, you know, I just right away I knew that uh, my season was over. And that to me was the most disheartening part of it. It wasn't the actual pain of, of someone landing on my leg, although that was painful. But it was more knowing that uh, something was seriously wrong, and uh, I knew that my season was over. For some people, it's not just the season that, that's over, it's their career. What, what made the difference for you? I mean, how did how did you f start fighting back from that? Uh, well, number one is, is having the mindset. Uh, you know, that that night, uh, I watched it over and over again, the play, I had to. Uh, cause I was, that, was that painful, watching it? It was, but I mean, it was the painful part, like I said, was the fact that I knew my season was over. But, you know, for me, is I had to watch it and get it out and, and, and move on. And, you know, the, the next day, uh, I woke up with a just a positive mindset of saying, okay, this is my day of let's get back, get on the road to, to recovery and get back here. And, um, you know, the thing about me is, which got me here in the first place has always been my work ethic. So I, I, I just changed my, my mindset to, to rehab and recovery and put all my focus in for that and, uh, you know, start toward that road. Um, set some goals and, and just made it, made it uh, a mindset. Nothing short of coming back was not acceptable. No. You said you've always had a strong work ethic. How, how has that manifested itself in your life? Um, well, I mean, it's just, it's, it started with, you know, really my, my parents. And, uh, you know, they, they, uh, they're hard workers and, and they instilled that in, in, in us and their children. And, uh, you know, I learned from them. They were my role models. So, uh, and then when I started playing football, I just, you know, I always looked to, to older guys, whether it was in high school or college or pros. And you see uh, how other guys approach it, and you know guys approach it differently. But I always look to the guys that really you know work their butt off and, and yeah. to achieve the results they want to achieve. And I, you know, I just that, that was me. That's the, that's the road I wanted to take. So tell me about the road back. Uh, well, uh, it was long. Uh, you know, everyone told me when I first uh, when I first did my injury, everyone wished me the best, and uh, you, you know they always said that uh, you know. It's a long and hard process, and I knew that. But until you actually go through it, then you really know. It. Um, it, it was long, but you know what? I had such tremendous support from everybody, from my family, my girlfriend, my friends, my teammates, my coaches. Uh, the fans here have been great. With, you know, by the way, I want to thank everyone. I, I was receiving cards, letters uh, from from a lot of the fans, and, and I, tell, I read every one of them. And, uh, if I didn't have enough motivation already, that even gave me even more than I, than I wanted. And it was amazing. And uh, just the support I got really, uh, just really kept my focus. Because you know what, uh, when you go through a process like that, you're going to have some days where you're doing awesome and you feel great. And then you're going to have some days where, you know, it just doesn't feel as good. Or your knee's a little painful and, you, you know, it just doesn't feel right. And Tell me about one of those days, one of the really hard days. Just, you know, some days, like, you know, well, my routine every, you know, I, I was working out about two, three times a day almost every day. But not, I'm not saying always weight room stuff. Like, you know, I had pool workouts, uh, running workouts, uh, weightlifting workouts, obviously, a lot of stretching, stuff like that. Uh, and just some days, you know, you would, some days you feel like you make, make good ground, you know, whether it be running a little more comfortably, because uh, you had to literally have to reteach yourself how to walk and run properly. Uh, and it took a while to even learn how to jog. Pro, you know, properly, because sometimes my my good leg would come up too high, or my little bad leg would come up a little bit too low. Anyways, uh, so looking a little bit like a slapstick comedy <laughs> yeah, show yeah, or something. Yeah, really, really <laughs> though. And uh, so some days, you know, you feel great. You feel like you make a lot of good progress, and you go to bed feeling awesome about your progress that day. And there's other days where, uh, you know, for whatever reason, uh, knee felt a little bit extra sore, or 
uh, you know, you just weren't running as well, or you know, the weights you were doing just seemed like you, you had to, to, to calm back a little bit. And uh, you know, those days you obviously go to bed feeling not as good, but but then you also feel like, okay, I can't wait till tomorrow because I want to do better, and more like what you do do better the next day. So. Um, so yeah, you had your ups and downs, and it was that was the whole process, really, just ups and downs. And my my whole thing was is, you know, I had my end goal, and that was playing in back in the CFL, putting on the green and white jersey again, putting the ball through the uprights again, and that was, that was my. Is my that focus. a picture you kept in your head, or how did you keep that in your in your head? Well, uh, one of the major things I did in the off season was because I knew I couldn't kick, and uh, so I wasn't able to actually do a lot of practicing and stuff. So what I did is I actually got the uh, guys here from our media to get me, they broke me up a DVD of all my field goals from the past year. Um, and I would just watch those every day. I would watch a little bit, a couple, few field goals, just to kind of keep the process fresh in my mind, just to see, just to picture it and, and, and visualize and see what, remember, remember how it kind of feels like to play in the game again. Because, you know, when you don't play it for a while, you, 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 you sometimes forget those feelings. So I, and I didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep, but I couldn't keep my, if I couldn't practice physically, I wanted to keep my mind true. When you see your friend um, Rob Bag get re-injured with the same injury, what, what's that like? What does that do to your process? Uh, it doesn't really affect my process. I mean, me and Bag's always been a pretty good friend of mine. Um, obviously, you know, he, he's my older and everything. And uh, so when we, you know, we got hurt the same game, in the same quarter for that matter. Um, we, uh, we always uh, communicate back, back and forth throughout the whole process. Uh, after, before surgery, after surgery, during the off season, working out. And we just kind of went back and forth to, to let each other know, you know, what kind of, what we were doing, what worked, what kind of didn't work. And so we went through a lot of the process together, even though we weren't in the same town. You know, we kept communicating with each other. So, so even though we weren't together, it felt like I was going through it with somebody, you know, and that helps too, you know. Um, so when I heard about his re-injury, uh, I was really, I was really upset. I was, I was sad. I was, I was, I was so pissed for the guy, you know, because Rob Bag is probably one of the hardest working guys you'll ever, you know, uh, and he puts 110 percent everything he does. And you know, I think it was just one of those fluke, fluke accidents that happens. Um, but you know what? He's still over here working his tail off and, and great. And, he, and he's the same thing, hard work ethic, and he has his goal, you know, putting that green white jersey back. I've got to ask you. I understand you're not. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, Coach Miller. Uh, and, and what was your reaction to that? Um, it was a little hard to take, uh, just because you know, you, <laughs> my, all I've been li eating, dreaming, sleeping, everything was playing again, you know. And, and finally, you know, I've, I put myself in the process, in the position to be able to get back on the field and, uh, and not be able to play. has been it's been hard, uh, but I understand, you know. Uh, it's just the way things go some, sometimes. Sometimes you gotta, one thing I've learned is patience. Um, and I, I, I know uh, when you're patient and we'll just keep working hard, good things will happen. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I gotta do to, to keep getting better and keep my leg getting stronger and, uh, you know, and just be patient. Thanks so much. Anytime.